Hi there, today I would like to show you my goal to 15 minutes makeup. Well, let's go. First thing first, I need to prep and hydrate my skin. So I'll be using uh, this Estee Lauder uh, Clean Infusion Toner. And I'm just gonna wipe my face with it. So after I'm done with the toner, I'm gonna use uh, this Arisen Serum. And I'll finish it with a moisturizing cream. I'll use sealant spray to create a barrier between foundation and skin. So to save some time, I'm not gonna use the brush, I'm just gonna use the sponge to apply my foundation. So today I'm gonna use this foundation it's natural finish and it's kind of medium coverage. I will use tap in motion to spread product across my face and not pull in motion. And I'm just applying product where I need it more. And I'm just making sure that I'm using foundation on my eyes as well so I can create like a uh, clean canvas. If you wanna know how to avoid cakey foundation, make sure to check it out this video. I'm allowed to set foundation for 30 seconds to a minute while I'm gonna do my cream contour. I'm picking my product on the brush like so, and now I'm gonna apply it with the uh, tap in motion and I want to make sure that I'm applying on the cheekbone, not underneath, because I don't want to pull my face down. With really gentle and lightly tap in motion. So to soften and to blend the edges, I'm going to use the sponge. And again, you want to use tap in motion and not to pull it your product and your foundation across the face. Now I'm grabbing setting powder and here's the little tip. You don't wanna use too much product and you need to even coat your brush evenly. So. Like so. And now I'm gonna just tap everywhere to set my foundation in one place. But for now, I'm gonna avoid areas where's um, my contour. I am grabbing powder bronzer and I'm gonna just repeat the same motion, but in the areas where I do have a cream contour. And I'm gonna use the same brush, but the different side. And here's the thing over here too, you do need to use too much product, just lightly coat it and repeat the same process as you did with the powder. Make sure that you tap in and not drag in. To add some blush on my face, I'm just gonna use this palette right over here and it's just gonna give me just a little instant glow. And here's a little thing over here too. I wanna use it not on my cheek right here, but a little bit higher like on my cheekbone because it's also gonna give me instant lift effect. Because you apply it just right on top on your bronzer, like so. Moving on to brows. In my everyday makeup, I like to use lighter brows. That's why I'm just gonna brush it with a spoolie. And I'm just gonna fill gaps with the brow pencil and set it with the brow gel. Just using stroke, light stroke motions, because I don't want to overdo my eyebrows. 
and I don't want them to look super harsh. And setting everything with the brow gel. On my eyes, I'm gonna use a bronzer just softly to deepen my eyes. Like so. But also you can use any light brown eyeshadow as well. I just like to use bronzer. It's just a little bit more blendable sometimes. And also I'm gonna use this eyeliner to kind of deepen my lash line. And here I'm going right between my lashes which is gonna emphasize it. Can you tell the difference? And just finishing with mascara. And my eyes are done. And I'm gonna finish my makeup with lips and on everyday makeup, I love to use just the lip liner and top it with a lip gloss. I'm using uh, lip liner NYX in shade Natural. And I'm just gonna draw all over my lip with the lip pencil. I'm just topping everything with a lip gloss. This is Patrick Ta, shade. She's an influencer. It's time to use setting spray to lock everything for entire day. Here is my everyday makeup, which usually take me 10 to 15 minutes. Let me know how long you usually do in your makeup. And here's the video where I'm showing the difference between siren eye makeup and smoky eye makeup. Make sure to check it out. And see you next time. Bye.